Hello everyone, welcome back to part 15. So I'm going to hide this thing we were doing earlier, that way I can work on making the hole in this one a bit better. So let's take a look here. So it looks like this is basically at the very end. So we're going to have to make it about... I think about here would look good. Let's create that and then make sure that there's no line going through the middle. Yep. And to do this, we're going to have to select that face, I believe. Yeah, let's see here. Yep, so I'm going to do Control e to extrude, press R, and then scale this in. And I'm going to make sure that it is a square, because right now it is not a square. So, scale this in. And then both of these can totally be scaled in until they look like a square, so about like there. And then we can take this face and delete it, I think, or maybe we'll extrude this down to like here or something. And then we gotta add our edge loops to support it, so here. And then press to smooth that, and it's not that much of a square right now, actually, so I think this needs to be moved down. And still not that much of a square, so let's see what else we can change here. I think this could even be moved down more. Press through to smooth this now, and that looks good. So what we can do then is just select this and duplicate it all the way over to here. And it should match perfectly. So let's just preview a smooth of this and this. Um, yeah, that's basically what I want. Remember when we actually smooth this, it'll look way better. So we have that piece there then. And I feel like we've done something a little odd here. Take a look here. Look at the top, and then look at the top here. I feel like the edges here are like we, we put them in too much. So I'm also going to double click on this and just control e delete that. Same for this because they just are unneeded. And select these outer ones. You don't want to select anything inside of there. And just scale those in. In fact, I'm going to do the same for the bottom part. Okay, so just select those, and I think that'll be it. So let's just scale these in a bit more, because I just feel like we scale them in way too much. Something kind of like that. That looks a lot better to me. Although, another thing I see is that this screw is significantly bigger than that one. And I also feel like it goes to the edges a bit more. So if I go over to here, um, let's just make our square a bit bigger. So select all of those and just scale it out to like that much. And then we could even bring it to there. Press through to smooth that, make sure it's in the circle, yep. And on his, yeah, okay. We're about closer to the edge here. And we can just scale this dude out. And since we move the other thing up, we need to move that thing up as well. Something like this. And if we drag this down to there, yep, it's bigger. So let's preview a smooth here just to make sure it fits. Perfect. Okay. So, um, I think... Well, let's see. Let's plan out what we're going to do for the next episode. And because we still have some time remaining. Um, I think in the next part we will create maybe this piece right here because this looks like another thing that connects and let's see what this is yep this thing I already looked at this um, looks like it'll connect basically under that part that we've created that way we can get a lot more geometry and that way we can figure out where we're gonna put some other stuff and then soon we'll start working on those gears and all that stuff so I'll see you in the next episode with a um, blueprint of this thanks